Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, welcome to Swing Street. This is Kelly. This is Praveen. And we are here to recap uh, the second class at Charleston with our level A students. So today we played with uh, Kick the Dog and some exits from there. Yep. So we quick recap on what we did with the Kick the Dog. We start with going a rotational rock step. Rock step. In, out, high kick, one, two. So we spoke about keeping the kick up there for two counts, seven and eight, and we're going to fall straight into the rock step. One, two. So this is the most basic exit. We're going to from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. In the front. One, two, in, out, up, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. We spoke about the need for the leads to be very clean and clear about the steering action that they have to do to bring the follow in and open them up. Yeah, and we also spoke about becoming very close with the final part of this move. When we're close here at the end, it really helps with falling into the rock step. Exactly. And, and then, then we try to continue from that fall spinning outwards. Yep. So we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, drop, step, kick, kick, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, drop, step. For the tip, for the turns, Kelly spoke about the importance to turn and spot our partner. Yeah. So that we have a, the frame of reference on where we want to finish as we get out of it. Yeah, we have a moment. We have an eye contact moment. Yeah. Then we also extended this for another four counts to make it a full eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop step. Yes, we're still in the frame. Okay, <laughs> cool. So leads, challenge yourselves, play with the different exits, directly falling into one to back to a basic Charleston versus yeah. the rotational exits. Then we briefly touched upon the open doors topic, and we had slightly different footwork for it. And there was going to be like this. So we spoke about double kicks and turning with it. So we had kick, kick, step, kick, kick, step, double, kick, step, double, kick, step, double, kick, step. We spoke about the importance of bounce here because, because we're doing a Charleston and we have the bounce. It feels a bit like we're hopping a bit while we're doing the movement and that during those hops we turn a little bit every time. So we turn about 45 degrees every hop so the kicks become easier to execute. So it's not kick, turn, kick, but it's more of kick and kick, step, kick and kick, step. We turn in portions throughout those Case. Yeah, exactly. And when we come together, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, five, six, seven. So we spoke about this uh, hand connection point as being our frame of reference and that we're moving away from out. this and opening up from it. Yeah, we're really getting the stretch coming from this point here. So when you're practicing, also on the social floor, really try and keep the hands here still. Yeah, so think like you're holding a pole and you're doing this move with the, while holding a pole. Yeah. And also you can look at using your partner to pull yourself in. So to prep, one, two, three, and out. Sorry. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five. So at least I slide my hand down and I turn my follow away from me to kind of create a preparation moment. And then from this, we kind of open up, take step. Kick, kick, step, kick, kick, step. Exit, bring her close, and go back into Charleston. Five, six, seven, and one. And that's that's it. it. Thank you. See you next week.